，放对了，是吗？有芭芭蕉的那出来。丁来万 ，Super Star。I'm just gonna go see my friends. Are you taking drugs? Are you taking drugs? Just let me live my life. Stop. Jian Bi. Why do you take drugs? You should have stopped me. I hate you all. After countless reporting, urine tests and counseling sessions, seeing my body change, my cheeks were so hollow, I couldn't even recognize myself. I really don't want to look like that ever again. I've been working in Care Corner for the past 12 years. As a social worker, drug abuse is one of the issues the families I work with face. Some of the families I work with um, may have abuser who uses violence on their family members. In the case of Chantel, when I knew that she took drugs at such a young age, being 14 years old at that point in time, and knowing that she has poor family support and that she has already dropped out from school, I was really worried that she might return back to drugs um, after the, the series of urine check being completed. But through her story, it has reminded me once again that when somebody has the determination to really change, they are capable of keeping to the goals that they have set for themselves. So maybe you can share with us, um, how was it like when, like that day, um, your mom came in when you were taking drugs? What were you doing before that and then what happened? I was in the midst of taking it and then my mom just walked in on me. For some reason, Drugs actually made me aggressive. Yeah. So I had to shout at her, ask her to get out of the room. Like how to also help other young people to be kept away from drugs so that they won't take drugs? I feel like family support is important because I grew up with no family support in my life. I had to tell myself to do things myself without anybody telling me. What kind of support a parent can give to a child? Uh, um, shower them with love, attention. Yeah. What makes you continue to take drugs even though you know that it was wrong? Um, it became a coping mechanism for me. Because at um, that point of time, so I went through a lot, like heartbreaks. I think the only way to run away from it was drugs. At that point of time. How do you feel about your progress all this while? Like the fact that you can actually say no, which some people actually fall, fall into back into drug again and again, right? How do you feel about your own progress? Proud. Proud of myself. I think we are proud of you too. <laughs> Thank you. My journey to become a drug-free SG champion started a few years back when the drug consumption by high-profile individuals and celebrities was brought to light. I felt, as an educator, it is important for me to empower my students to make wise and informed choices for their own lives in this evolving landscape and not be influenced by the lifestyles of affluent individuals who capture media attention. I was glad to hear that similar mini-exhibitions have been deployed at the various institutes of higher learning for the youths to visit. In addition, every school is doing their own part to support this effort. For instance, at Nanhua High School, we place strong emphasis on exercising choices sensibly and confidently, anchored on a strong sense of identity and supported by healthy and meaningful relationships. For instance, we conducted an anti-drug awareness lesson in 2023 which included a ribbon folding activity to pledge our commitment towards a drugs-free lifestyle. We encourage students to speak to a trusted adult if they are using or considering using drugs. We also encourage them to be upstanders if they know of peers in such situations so that these peers can receive the help and support they need. 
Additionally, we organised the Preventive Drug Education Assembly Talk in collaboration with CNB and tapped on the lesson package on addictive substances to further educate our students. My vision for the community is to create a safe, supportive and informed environment where our youth can thrive without the influence of drugs. What is this fight all about? Why are we doing this? Why are we taking such a strict approach in Singapore? Drugs out of Singapore as much as possible. Demand by persuading people that this is bad for them. Keeping to what we consider to be important and taking a very tough approach on crime and drugs. Bring in more volunteers who are prepared to be drug-free champions. Bring in people who will spread the message further. I think people recognize Singapore for what it is, well-run, well-managed, well-governed, safe and secure place. We need your help in uh, continuing to press the message to our young people.